and girls, welcome back to Imagine What You Can Do at Home with me, Miss Gabby, from the Finkelstein Memorial Library. Um, this is our fourth session. It is one of the programs as part of our summer reading program called Imagine Your Story. All my friends are here today. Um, and today, for this session, I'm going to, I don't usually read a story, um, but I'm going to read you a story today because it's going to tie into our little fun crafty experiment we're going to do and the story I'm going to read to you is called Red a crayon story by Michael Hall and we're gonna thank Green Willow Books for letting us read their stories he was red but he wasn't very good at it oh dear His teacher thought he needed more practice. I'll draw a red strawberry, then you draw a red strawberry. You can do this, really. But he couldn't, really. Like this? Oh my, let's try again. His mother thought he needed to mix with other colors. Why don't you two go out and draw a nice round orange? Yellow said, a really big one, and red said, a really orange one. But they made a big greenish one. Yuck, said yellow. Oops, said red. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Your class is making self-portraits for parents' night. Wear this warm red scarf. Nice, it's so you. But it wasn't. Oh dear me. Everyone seemed to have something to say. Sometimes I wonder if he's really red at all. Don't be silly, it says red on his label. He came that way from the factory. Frankly, I don't think he's very bright. Well, I think he's lazy. Right, he's got to press harder. Really apply himself. Give him time, he'll catch on. Of course he will. These are all the different colors, giving their opinions about poor Red, who just can't seem to color red. But he didn't catch on. Green frog, black sheep, Brown cow, red. Ah! All the art supplies wanted to help. The masking tape thought he was broken inside. This will help hold you together. Put a little piece of tape on him. The scissors thought his label was too tight. One snip should do it. He gave a little snip. I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Stay still now. Sharpeners thought he could sharpen him up a little bit. But even with all our help and all his hard work, Red just kept coloring blue. We just couldn't get the hang of it. He just couldn't get the hang of it. One day, he met a new friend. Will you make a blue ocean for my boat? I can't. I'm red. Will you try? So he did. He made the blue ocean. Thank you, it's perfect. You're welcome. It was so easy. And he didn't stop there. Blue bells, blue jeans, a blue bird, blue berries, a blue whale. Guess what? <gasps> I'm blue! He was blue and everyone was talking. My son is brilliant. 
Who could have known he was blue? I always said he was blue. It was obvious. His blue ocean really lifted me. All of his work makes me happy. His blue strawberries are my favorite. He's so intense. I'm going to make a green lizard with him, a really big one. I hear he's working on a huge new project. He's really reaching for the sky. And he really was. The end. So it doesn't matter what color you are, red, blue, green, purple, uh, orange, because today, and it doesn't matter what crayon you use, because today we're going to make rainbow crayons. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in just a minute. So boys and girls, so when you register for uh, the session, you will get a bag with um, a muffin tin. Okay, so it's got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, little muffin uh, holes. And you'll get um, some broken crayons. Um, and that's basically it. That's all you'll need. The crayons and the muffin tin. And I'm gonna explain to you how we're gonna do it now. So when you get your crayons, and I haven't decided if I'm gonna give them to you already broken and peeled, or if I'm gonna give them to you whole and unpeeled, or maybe I'll do a combination. Maybe I'll give you some that are broken and peeled already and some that aren't. Because sometimes the fun part um, about this little craft or experiment, whichever you wanna call it, is taking the actual crayons like, this and let's get, let's get a full a full size crayon. Taking like this and doing the peeling yourself, and sometimes sometimes it peels real easy. Sometimes it just comes out in one full peel, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it takes a little while to peel, but I still like peeling. And sometimes if it's if the wrapper is kind of loose, sometimes it'll just slide off, okay? And now you have a crayon with no wrapping, and then it's fun breaking it. I like the little snap noise it makes, okay? And then, so what you're going to do, and I've already gotten my crayons ready, is you're gonna put different colors in each so I've got some as you can see I've got some some red some yellow some orange some purple I'm gonna put that it's got the same I'm gonna fill that one and that one this one and this one and since these aren't mini um, tins, we're gonna um, we're gonna want to fill it up as much as we can um, because when it melts, um, it'll lessen. So I'm gonna peel some more crayons to fill up my tin, and then uh, and then we're gonna get ready to put it in the oven. Okay, so my uh, muffin tin is pretty full. Um, and now I'm gonna put it in the oven. And for this part, you definitely wanna have an adult um, there to help you. Um, so we're gonna put it in the oven for about, it depends, 15, depends on how full your um, tins are. So I'd say about 15 to 20 minutes. You just kinda wanna keep your eye on it and just watch it and make sure, you know, um, once you see that it's melted, it's ready. And we're gonna put it at like maybe 230 degrees, something like that, and just keep your eye on it. And when it's done, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna let it cool. And um, you'll pop them out and you'll see, we'll see how our rainbow crayons came out. Okay, okay. so my rainbow crayons are ready. I um, took them out of the oven and actually I didn't use, you can use, your toaster oven, I used my toaster oven. Um, if it fits inside your toaster oven, then you don't even have to turn on the big oven. Um, 
but so I took them out. I saw that they were melted and liquidy, so I took them out and let them cool. You can let them cool on the counter, or if you want them to cool faster, you can put them in the fridge. And then you'll notice that once they're cooled, they're just loose, and you can pop them out. And here they are. Let me just turn them over. And you can see how they look. So they're really fun. You can see it's the side is lighter, this side is darker, this is the bottom. Different sorts of rainbows. Oh, I just love it. They kind of look like little bot, well, not little, but larger, large bottle caps. Um, and again, like I said, depending how full your tin is, um, they'll come out thicker or thinner. And that's basically it. And now you can draw any color or a rainbow design or anything you like with these beautiful, wonderful, fun uh, rainbow crayons. Okay, so I hope you like the rainbow crayon um, experiment and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye now.